In this video, I am going to show you guys how to create a stylus illustration inside of Adobe Illustrator using some very easy tricks and techniques. Even if you are new to Adobe Illustrator, you can create this complete artwork following this tutorial. So make sure to stay around throughout the video. I am Nikhil from dopemotions.com and without any further ado, let's get started. Alright, so here we are in Adobe Illustrator. Let's start by creating a new artboard. So I'll hit Ctrl N on the keyboard to create a new artboard. For the width, I'll go with 600 pixels and height to 850 pixels. I'll call this Stargate. And if I go into the advanced option, you can see the color mode is set to RGB color and the raster effects are set to high 300 ppi. And everything is uh, in the preview mode is set to default. I'll hit create. So here we have our artboard. I'm going to really quickly copy the color palette from right over here. So hit control C, control V. And by the way, you can get this color palette inside the project file. The link to the, the link to download the free project file is in the description below. So you can download it and use the same colors if you want, or if you want, you can use different colors as well to give it a different look. Also, I got this, um, simple vector image from the web so you can download that as well if you want you can use a different maybe character or an animal or something like that just to you know give it a different look so let's start by creating our background so i'll select the rectangular tool and create a rectangle so right now the color is set to white so we need to add a nice color palette color from the color palette so i'll hit i on the keyboard to select the pick whip tool and pick the color from our color palette select the gradient tool and I can draw gradient just like so there we go looking nice I'll call this layer BG for background create a new layer and let's leave it at default we can lock the background layer now let's go ahead and create the square cube it's very simple to create you can select the rectangular tool Let's set the color to white. Click on the artboard and for the width and height, I'll link this up. Actually unlink this and set the width to 150 and height to 150. Link that up, hit OK. So now we have a simple square. I'm going to make it a complete white right now. It's a bit gray. Let's align that into the center. Now, if you don't see any of the tabs, you can go into windows and just click on them to make them visible. The alignment, I'm going to set this to align to artboard, align it into the center. That is looking good. Maybe a bit small. Actually, let's leave it at 150 for now. Go into effects and preset 3D and extrude and bevel. Let's set all these properties to zero. And set the extrude depth to 150. Then go into custom rotation and set this to isometric left. You can see the preview. This is what we are going for. Hit OK. Go into object, expand appearance. And there we have it. Maybe I'll make it a bit smaller. I think it's a bit too big for the artboard. OK, that is looking perfect. Then let's go here and create a circle by selecting the ellipse tool. Create a circle just like that. There we go. And let's use colors from our color palette. Now it's a pretty basic color. I am select I'm using a white and black gradient. Then I added this nice pink color. You can of course copy the color code if you want to. And then I've set this one to purple and brought down the opacity to zero, right? So something like that. Let's select it. Select the gradient tool and maybe I'll do it in worse. So we'll go with something like this. That is looking good. Maybe I'll increase the size a bit. Okay, so that is looking pretty good. And let's go ahead and create those nice lines that will be a nice element so now what i'm going to do is select the polygon tool click to bring up the properties 
and the size I'm going to set to 6 for the radius I'll go with something like 200 for now hit OK let's bring this into the center and then I'm going to try to rotate it just like that so it aligns up with our square so let's drag it and now you can see it perfectly aligns it up so bring this up and increase the size a bit also we can bring the circle and the square up a bit so I'll go into layers select them and bring this try to align them actually into the center so I can select all these three layers and align this up actually set this to selection and align it up so now everything is perfectly al aligned up into the center that is looking great let's select this go into transparency and change the blending mode to overlay so we get this really nice look then select the pen tool and I'll create some nice stroke to add some nice accent to the design so I'll click right over here and I'll take this through just like that yep that looks perfect same I can do from here as well but what I can actually do is select this right click transform go to reflect vertical reflection vertical reflect to 90 degrees and hit copy then I can hold shift and just drag it like so so I'll just using the arrow key, you can align it properly that is looking great let's select the pen tool again and bring one line from down to bottom from <laughs> bottom to top select it align it into the center set this to artboard and align it into the center I think this is not properly lined up so I'll move this a bit okay I think now everything is lined up properly I can select this line and select the direct selection tool select this point and drag it holding shift so I get this perfect lines now I can just select this three lines hit control G to group them up and change the blending mode to overlay hold alt and drag it just a bit to the top select the direct selection tool again select this point and I'm gonna just place it right over here so it's a really nice look as you can see same thing I'm gonna do right over here as well and for this one actually I'll place it just like that and just right over here so that is looking very nice at the moment oh this one I missed up so let's move this one as well okay so that is looking very nice now let's go ahead and add some nice circles to this so I'll select the ellipse tool we don't need any stroke we just need the fill I'm gonna create a circle just like that we place it right over here make it a bit smaller also I'll increase the size of the circle a bit okay so I'll make this a bit smaller just like that and hit I to select the pick whip tool and select this nice gradient that we have so this is the combination of orange and purple so you can copy the color code orange copy the color code purple and set the opacity down to zero select the gradient tool and let's draw shape just like that we move this at the bottom and drag this a bit there we go looking very nice I'll create one more copy I'll place it right over here Ooh, nice and small maybe one more I'll add hit right here so that is looking very nice okay so now let's start by building up the landscape that we have so I'll select the curvature tool 
I'll go with a nice white color for now and let's build up our nice landscape so it's very random I'm gonna just make some shapes like that something like so there we go hit V and then what I can do is unlink or oh sorry unlock this background layer select it select the shape that we have hit shift M that is to select the shape builder tool hold alt and click to delete it and there we go there we have a nice shape select it hit i and pick with the background color then go into the gradient section and let's add a nice dark gradient like so maybe a bit just like that something like that looking very nice Select the pen tool again and this time I'm going to create a second layer of actually select the curvature tool and create a second layer of the land. Just like that. Again I'm going to select this, select the background, shape builder tool and delete that. This time I'm going to put this at the back so hit control shift and open square bracket to put this at the back. Also I forgot to delete that I'm going to delete this as well. Okay so I'll select this select the gradient tool again. This time I'll keep it very light maybe something like that. Okay and finally a third layer to this. Just something like so. Hit V, select it, shape builder tool and delete it. Again, I'm going to put this at the back. So hit control shift and open square bracket. And let's select the gradient tool again. And just a touch. So now you can see we have our nice landscape ready. You can go ahead and just copy the person right over here. Hit control V. And let's make this a bit smaller. Also, I want to put this line behind. So I'll hit actually what we can do is I can just place firstly our human right here and give it the same gradient as the background. Hit V, go into the gradient and let's give it a nice gradient. Just a touch. There we go. Looking very nice. Select this one and try to adjust the gradient a bit. Okay, that is looking perfect. Let's select it and align it into the center. Select this line that we have. Select the direct selection tool. So I'll select this line that we have. Select the direct selection tool. I'll select this point, who we'll shift and drag it just like that. Select this point, this line and this point and drag this just like so. So now as you can see we have this really nice look. Now one thing that we need to add is some nice stars into our galaxy. But adding stars using just an eclipse and just dupl duplicating the circle it's going to take a long time so what we can do instead is let's click and create an ellipse maybe of five pixels hit ok then i'll go into window and i'll go into the symbols so now we have the symbols panel and what i need to do is just select it make sure it's set to fill i think it's a bit too big so what i can do is i can create one more by three pixels hit ok and one more by one pixel hit ok so now we have three circles as you can see firstly I'll select the circle with the three pixels maybe let's zoom in and drag it into the symbols panel I can call this three hit ok and then select this tool called symbol sprayer tool and basically I'm just gonna click to add some nice dots you can also spray if you want to you know create a 
really cool look but in this case i'm just gonna click because we want very small amount of stars just like that and then i can drag in the one pixel star i think it's a bit too small to oh yeah there we go hit okay select the sprayer and then i can add just some stars like so now we have a nice stars let's go ahead and type in our text i'm going to type in stargate align it into the center make this white and for the font i'll go with a nice space sage font which is a free font and increase the size a bit maybe 14 pixels looks good and there we have our nice illustration made using some very simple steps and technique into adobe illustrator so if you are if you guys are enjoying this adobe illustrator tutorials then do let me know in the comment section below if you want more of this kind of tutorials and with that said this is a wrap for today guys i hope you enjoyed this tutorial also make sure to download the project file it's absolutely free the link will be in the description and i will see you guys in the next video till then take care and don't forget to always stay raw stay creative